Hi, this is Jeff Pilson from West of the Boulevard. We have an opportunity to talk with Stephen Case and a former William and Mary football player. Stephen, thanks so much for joining us. Thank, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's our pleasure. We're glad to talk to you about the revolution. And, and Stephen, give us a sense. There's a lot of guys who played college ball in Virginia. And, you know, what is that like coming together and maybe reigniting some old rivalries of guys you played against or just kind of some camaraderie from the guys that play college ball in Virginia? It's, it's definitely exciting. Um, I think that's what Coach Criswell and the staff had um, in mind when putting the team together. They wanted to bring uh, more majority of the, the players here in Virginia and Richmond, bring them together. Um, it's a lot of talent here. It's a big pool base. A lot of people don't know about it, but um, it's good to have guys that you know you grew up with playing in high school and you followed throughout college and uh, or played against in college, as well as the coaching staff. You know, it's some familiarity there too. Um, coaches that coached players from previous teams or actually. Uh, teammates with other players on the on the squad so it's, it's a good feeling and it's a good sense of um, you know pride and togetherness for Virginia. Good and tell us about where your career is taking you since your days at William and Mary. Um, I, I had a few workouts with the NFL teams and that fell short and from there I went and went the arena football route. Um, I started with the Austin Wranglers, um, got hurt there in training camp then I moved on to arena two football with the Green Bay Blizzard and uh did well there, and then moved on back up to the AFL with the Georgia Forest last year, okay. and uh, did that until the season folded. I had a, um, that was my rookie season, and from there I was out a little bit doing workouts here and there with CFL and and other arena teams, mm -hmm. and then I had an opportunity to come here and play with the Revolution this year. Okay, great. And so obviously you're you're a defensive player. Give us some sense of what it's like being in the defensive secondary in, in indoor football because it seems like a lot of the rules are really geared towards giving the advantage to the offense. And how complex can you get out there when guys are flying towards the line of scrimmage at the start of the play? It's, it's definitely um, com complex, um, but it's also the feeling that you want playing defensive back. You want the action coming your way. You want a chance to, you know, make the play or be the backbone of the defense. And with uh, arena and indoor football, majority passing league. So the target's always on your back, and you get an opportunity to either be the man or <laughs> be yesterday's news, you know. Right. So it's, it's good and it's exciting, and you just take the pressure on and you move along with it. And, and tell us, for, for the fans who are more familiar with the NFL rules, what are the differences in, in the defensive rules? The defensive players have certain limitations, like illegal defense. Can you explain a little bit of that to our fans? Um, it's, it's majority about uh, uh, alignment and assignment. Um, we have a jackbacker who's more like a rover position. However, he can help in the run uh, near the box. Now, however, if he steps you know, within the box um, guidelines, you can get a personal uh, a flag for that. Okay. Also, um, the alignment of the D linemen, they have to um, maintain a certain alignment against the offensive linemen or, you know, a different heads up position or a tilted position that could cause a penalty as well. And the difference in with uh, NFL also is you have two wide receivers coming in motion. Mm -hmm. And if you've never experienced that, that's a different, uh, <laughs> that's a different side of football. They have a 10, 15, 20 yard head start and you have to sit there and try to gauge how fast they're coming, gauge their routes. Mm -hmm. And that could be difficult for someone who's not adjusted to the game. Right. And that's a, it's a hard adjustment, but once you get the hang of it, it, it could, you know, you can play with it a little bit. Okay. That's some great and insight. So the Revolution has got you uh, doing some blogging on, on their website. Tell us about what, what that experience has been like and what, what kind of things you, you like to share. I mean, obviously, you're probably not you know, <laughs> criticizing the coaches too much on there, but what, what, what types of things can we expect to see on your blog? Um, it's, it's very exciting. I had the opportunity to you know, keep track of the daily and monthly routines that we go through just to give a little insight to, to Richmond as a whole about um, the Revolution and the Indoor Football League. And um, I've been enjoying it. I keep an update on you know, if we're out of town, and what things we went through, some of our training techniques and habits. Also, you know, insight from practice or, or game that, you know, most fans don't know from being in the stands. Just give them a little inside, you know, clips of what's going on. And it's been fun. Um, Vicki Mazur, she's been able to help me out, and she, she's uh, the one that kind of gave me the opportunity, and I've been working with her. So it's been, it's been exciting. And if you haven't heard, go check it out. It's on richmondrevolution.com, and it's a player's blog, me and uh, Law Lewis. All right. Great. Well, we appreciate that, Stephen. And just for the fans' perspective, give us your thoughts on what a fan can expect to see out of a Richmond Revolution game. Um, it's it's going to be fun. You know, it's affordable and it's exciting. You come out, and it's definitely fan-friendly. 
um, you can get right there, excitement in the game. Um, you're going to see some of the top players from around the Richmond metro area and Virginia homegrown players um, playing against some of the you know premier talent in the in the country. And one thing about you know Virginia is we're, we're going to bring home some wins and some some, some titles and yeah. we're going to be successful. So if you want to come out and support a, a good local team, Richmond Revolution is where it's at. All right, Stephen, we appreciate it very much. And folks, make sure we get behind the revolution and check out Stephen's blog on richmondrevolution.com. Thanks very much, Stephen. All right, thank you. Go Tribe. <laughs>